here we are, and welcome to another episode of the Friday Night Movie Podcast. This is a special episode. This is going to be an all Rex RX episode with myself and my sisters. I'll start first with Becky since she arrived on time. Becky, how are you doing? On time. There was no time. <laughs> it was literally a time because Lily said, do it now. Lily said, I can podcast right now. And then I don't, can I check and how many minutes I, we've been on this call? No, I, 12, no 12. I have to connect my internet. <laughs> my, my house is under construction and I didn't realize, I was like, I can't get on the internet. I, was like, I have a question. Is this, an, is this an episode that's actually going to be released? Yes, this is going to be released. Oh, because I have like a complaint. I have a very, it's a very privileged complaint. So I actually, I can't make it. Just it's, make it's, it off the it's, air. It's, it's, it's a secret podcast. <laughs> make, make it in the secret okay, podcast. That's when I we have, have a Patreon. Really funny story. When we have a Patreon, we'll let That's people. That's what it'll be for. People will be, there'll be secret podcast access. And then there will be WhatsApp channel viewing access. So <laughs> <laughs> like if you fund us for a year, we'll let you look at our WhatsApp chat for a few That's weeks. hilarious. Um, <laughs> But I have a really funny story to kick off, though, so, sure. that I told I wasted and I told you yesterday with your wife, but Becky hasn't heard it. So um, I already forgot. So, it. OK, so hey, Beck, um, I you as you know, uh, a few dear friends of mine uh, did like a little gathering for me um, in the woods because it's like safe to like social be socially distant. And it was like in nature, uh, the other day, uh, in sort of like a celebration of them about to have a baby and, um, nearly like 40 literally years. like about to, like you're having control. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like you're you are, about the, to have a you baby. have really said you've brought about to have a baby to a whole new level. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's like we're getting into boy who cried wolf territory. I guess. <laughs> Because I'm like, eh, uh, uh. anyways, and so I have a ginormous belly, as you know, and um, my our son Ari was was there with me, and he um, all of a sudden he's like, I gotta pee, and I said, you know, me too, I always have to pee, and so I was like, okay, let's go, let's go further into the woods, and we'll both go pee. So he pees, and then I squat. And like with his like massive belly, I also pee. And he turns and he looks at me and he goes, Mommy, where's your penis? <laughs> and, <laughs> and I go, Oh, sweetie. I was like, I don't have a penis. I have a vagina. And um, and and that's where I do pee pee. And he's like, But mommy, where's your vagina? <laughs> <laughs> And it's just like this gigantic belly and an ass and pee coming out. And he's just like, I don't see any reasonable explanation for where this pee is coming from. And I'm just like doubled Smart over. Kid. And I was like, Smart and I go, kid. sweetie, I haven't seen my vagina in months. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> I feel like that is the name of this episode. I haven't seen my vagina, <laughs> seen my vagina, in, vagina months. in months. So I thought you'd appreciate that. So that let's just let's just sit around and recommend stuff for each other. What, uh, Lily? Give us a scenario you're kind of in right now, and Beck and I could maybe bounce some Rex okay. RX to help you through it. So, like that, like okay, you're really tired and want to sleep. But it's a kind of a freebie because it's you can't sleep. Like there's no way you could go to sleep. You have to stay awake for a little bit longer because the heartburn is so bad. So you need to sit up for like a good half an hour, twenty minutes. So we're talking about like that's your time frame for a show that so you, you need, could. Watch. And you're very sleepy, but you need to be kept up, or you want to be lulled to sleep. Like, in do those you 20 care minutes. if you miss the show, or, or do you will want you to? Just I, be... Do you want something that's going to put you to sleep? Okay. This is the big difference between me and Shy, and maybe me and Becky. I never want to be put to sleep by a show. Like, I know you love to nap in front of the TV. Oh, and so that's so show. weird. That's yeah, so weird. I, if I watch a show, like, I have to make it to, the, I usually have to make it to the end. Like, I try so hard. So I want a good, like, going to pass the time till the heartburn calms down so I can fall asleep on my own. Because I don't really try to fall asleep in front so of the So you really only want this episode to be, like, 15, 20 minutes, 20 or minutes. 20, or 20, 20 to 24 minutes. Okay. And um, and you don't want to laugh too hard because of this heartburn. Oof, no. But you want to be relaxed. Distra you need to be like, you need to be super distracted because of how Becky much knows. pain you're in. So yeah, you can't. It's really yeah. uncomfortable. It's like serious. So it has to be engaging. It has to be both. It has to be engaging. like yeah. pretty, pretty distracting, but short. 
But again, it's light has to be light fair. This is right before bedtime. Okay, light fair before bedtime. So like no like bullshit like twenty minute dramas. Okay, so I can't recommend to you like House of Lies. Like the dark, no, you know, for like that's really girls or whatever, <laughs> yeah, right? Okay, or yeah. like an epic you know. insecure, even. Well, I would, I mean, potentially an epic insecure because it's only like 20 ish minutes and it's funny, but it you, has some like seriousness. Like, I can tell you what's been my savior because I've been through this for the last few months. So, my savior has been Life in Pieces. Oh, because that's if, a good yeah, one. that's perfect. Because if the heart print like dies down and, and I can fall asleep. I personally don't feel like I'm missing the episode because they're vignettes. <laughs> so. That's, I mean, Life in Pieces is a unique show in that way and because it's, it gives it's, you I four shows in each episode. It, it does. And it's like a real crime that it, I think, was canceled. Yeah. What? I don't understand. CBS? I mean, CBS usually, I mean, I guess maybe it was too smart and engaging and expensive for a CBS show. They like more, they just they need to make Stupidity? room for like. NCIS Rittenhouse Square apartments. For God's sakes. <laughs> well, like, you yeah. know what? You know what has been a huge hit in our house? And it's a little bit too young for you, but it's actually, I even I'm enjoying it quite a lot. It even you? Shall you watch Transformers? No, I love Transformers, but you'll see when I recommend <laughs> this. This show has been a big family watch. Like we watched it last night and we watch it over and over and over again lately. The Babysitter's Club show on Netflix. Oh, I know is, tons of adults that are watching is, is Is delicious, and it is really, really positive, and there are some funny moments, and there are some dramatic moments, but in the end, you know, it's the is Babysitter's Club. Is that age appropriate for your kids? Or yeah, my kids love old? it, and, it you and, know what? And, and actually it's handling some really important issues, and it's doing it really well. You know so, what I actually think it, Lily, really. Lily should watch? I think it would actually be perfect is very specifically season one of Avatar because in two and three, it starts to get more serious, but season one is, yeah, but in season one, it's still like light with like some like funny and, you know, what seems like one off or inconsequential episodes, which then come back in season three, but for season one, they they do feel like one off episodes. Yeah, that's that's a good one. I would say now is a great time, Lily. It's a great time to start Avatar, uh, The Last Airbender. Can, Bob's Burgers can, has been, give wait. it up to Howie. Bob's Burgers has been a huge winner on our house. Allie just sat and watched a whole episode with me. She does not That's, sit and watch a whole episode oh, of a lot of things with me like that. And she's episode. just there crapping up. She was just cracking up. Uh, um, wait, but can we go back to Avatar for a second? Can you explain the like recent controversy to me? I didn't understand oh, any of yes. those memes you said. Oh my gosh, did this you? This is a big deal. You, oh, this is a huge deal. I'm going to like pull up the, okay, basically. So the guys that created Avatar. Brian Kodietsku. Uh, the original one. Michael the Dante DiMartino. One, the creators the of the show. Creators of the show. The one that you guys IP. watch. Right. Yes. Yes. Geniuses. Okay. They were That's hired. The original place of this content. It's not from a comic or anything. Like no. the Lennon and McCartney of animated shows if Lennon <laughs> and McCartney never broke up and were amazingly loyal and awesome to each other their whole lives. Okay. Right. So this is not based on anything. It is just their creation. So okay. they were hired by Netflix to be the executive producers and showrunners of the live action version of Avatar The Last Airbender. It's it was going to be remade as a live action series. But they were at the helm and Netflix made this big public announcement that they are having these two guys as the showrunners and EPs. Because the movie was caca. So the movie the they had movie, nothing to do with. So the movie that Nickelodeon made with M. Night Shyamalan didn't have That's anything really right. to do with them. And unfortunately, probably because of studio interference, I, I'm guessing it was not M. Night, uh, whitewashed the main character. Uh, Aang, who is obviously Asian, so much of the show is rooted in Eastern traditions, both martial arts and just geography, even though it's in a fantastical place that it's from. And and I don't know I don't remember the name of the actor of the kid, nor do I want it to be that kid's fault. It's not that kid's fault, he was a kid actor. But it was extremely right. controversial. Yeah. And it you know, and and in general, from what I understand, and I haven't seen the movie because I don't really want to watch it, uh, it was just sort of like a, a bastardization of what is essentially a perfect animated series. Like even with the limitations and things that didn't necessarily happen exactly the way the creators maybe wanted to, that those three seasons of that show are perfect. They are. And st- I mean, story arc wise, it really is perfect. It was so clearly thought out but and like planned fans, out. 
are like so dedicated, but also because they kind of ruined the movie. People so were excited. Like ex- well, excited you know, Netflix, to get another shot at making well, it more and, authentic. And, you know, Netflix. I would say it's the most mercurial of these streaming services because their quality sometimes is like incredible, and then sometimes they'll cancel a show after two seasons, and that just drives me crazy. And so, what happened with Netflix was they had brought Brian and Michael in to run it. They made a big deal. They said, we're not going to whitewash the cast this time. Everything's going to be culturally appropriate. And they're going to be running it. It will, it will be true to right. their yeah. vision, to the animated series, to their vision, which is why they are coming in to run this. This is their show. And production had been, you know, pre-production's been going on for two years. You have all these whispers and rumors and it's unclear what's happening and then all of a sudden, both Brian and Michael drop these posts on Instagram that say, we are leaving the show. Don't bang the ta- you're banging the table. Sorry, we're really leaving funny. the show. It's very emotional. It's very emotional. Yeah, very see, emotional. Specifically because Netflix did not fulfill their end of the bargain when they said we would have creative control. They They're not they following our vision. They get Netflix no. gets to keep the rights to the show. Yeah, I mean, my opinion is Netflix. It. Yeah, my opinion is Netflix. Like, that's ridiculous. Uh, my, but but hold on. But they're specifically leaving because they're not be, their creative. Um, their creative. Uh, uh, sorry, what? what their what creative vision is not vision being done. Is is not being honored. And they and, could they couldn't go into details. They can't go into, but they're basically saying, you know, we have incredible people working on the show. But Netflix is not uh, allowing us to maintain our vision, and so we have to walk away because we don't want to. So what you're saying is no executive at Netflix watched the show. I'm confident. No, there must be. There, you know, I bet you there's like a cool producer. I bet you there's a cool producer at Netflix who loved the show and was like, "Yes, we are going to do this," and brought them in. And then somebody else got involved and was like, no, 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 we're switching this around. And there's lots of speculation as to what could be going wrong. I think the two two of the big speculations is one is some really, really funny memes about whitewashing the cast or like miscasting. Oh, is that what that is? About yeah, potential? yeah. It's, it's about, like because yeah. they potentially cast it that way. Right. No, I mean, that, that, got upset. I, I, I probably think that's less likely with Netflix's own track record, but the memes were hilarious because right. people were putting up these like all white gap ads being like, <laughs> it's like oh, stock, stock photos of just like a white office, like white office workers. And, uh, and Netflix that, should that have been makes prepared. a lot more sense now. Should, should have been prepared for blowback. There's also a really, and, 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 the, and the other thing, the other skeptical part that, the, the other speculation I heard is that Netflix is going to try to age up the characters and force some like romantic plot lines and more adult plot lines. Like that were not, not making it so kid kid oriented. Yeah, and try to like get it like like Cora is an older show where it's, yeah where there's a little more romance and relationship drama. Avatar is like Goonies. Like there's there is a childlike romance and love in it but it it's is like harry very potter. innocent yeah, but yeah. It's, it's really it's really like harry like, potter as if yeah. as if harry potter didn't work and make tons of money like right. i feel like but, why did it, is everything have so to be one of the things kissing that, booth two or whatever so right so one of the things that worries me so <laughs> what i particularly <laughs> what i particularly love about avatar is that the way it handles violence that these are this is a show with battle scenes with small fights and big battles but the way that it handles violence the way that it portrays it and the discussion of the emotional component of needing to engage in violence or witness it and it's for me it was one of the most impactful parts when really you know experiencing this through ang and what i worry about is that the Netflix live action version won't stay true to the way that that was handled which I think is very sensitive to the fact that it is a show for children. Not everything needs to be, right? Um, um, you know, uh, graphic violence and explosions and death. There's a there's a delicate way Not of handling it. Not everything needs to be a uh, Batman, right? You know, like there's a way to show a big battle scene without 
killing a bunch of nameless, faceless soldiers, for example. And so what I worry about is that the live action show will have more of a Game of Thrones element to battles and seeing like death and destruction that would be too mature and too um, too uh, gratuitous for what's supposed to be a children's show. Um, that, so, that's a big... So here's why I'm relieved. Two th- few reasons. One is... Although I want Brian and Michael to continue to creating whatever they want, whenever they want. And it drives me nuts that they're not able to do the live action version that they want to do. Um, But at least the animated series now stays the true perfect thing that it is. All the books that have been written are amazing. I'm actually collecting the library editions. They're these beautiful like uh, eight by ten or bigger hardcover with like beautiful art in them. And so, you know, those stories are still canon and will continue to be. And I don't have to stress about this new thing kind of scrambling my brain and changing things around. And I can go back to my general opinion of Netflix is that they like screw things up and that they're way overrated when it comes to original content. And that is how I've felt for a long time. And they sort of they got me with this one. But look at the look at what they're, you know, Karate Kid. They didn't make that. Hopefully they won't cancel it, right? Or screw it up. Yeah, and that's coming to them. Uh, you know, Troll Hunters, Dream, DreamWorks Troll Hunters, which is really, really great. It's not, it's not up there with Avatar, but it's close. I was watching the third installment of it, and you can just tell the Netflix guys got impatient, and they shortened it to ten episodes, and it's not two seasons, and you could just see that they, like, they lost interest in it, and when they lose interest in it, they cut, you know, they cut a project down, and to invest in Avatar to do that series, you're investing Game of Thrones money, and I just never believed Netflix was really going to have the the guts to spend the money on that show that needed to be spent to make it good, so it's okay. But now that we took that Avatar tangent, I feel like I have a Rex R- I have a Rex RX question for you. Mm-hmm. And the Rex RX question is, Lily, this is a Rex RX for Becky, who mm-hmm. is dealing with the stress of this Avatar news, and for me for that matter. But uh, the stress that what was coming was this live action show, but now there is disharmony, imbalance in the Avatar verse. What do you recommend for Becky? What is your Rex RX? To to what to. To soothe in, in her sense, anxious soul. You you have to appreciate how anxious Becky and I are about this. We're not like Last Jedi anxious. Saying, okay, but I thought you were just saying that you just you accepted disappointment. Like now you don't have high expectations. Yeah, but it's still You're stressful like, to see the Avatar verse in balance. Okay. Oh. <sighs> Gosh. That's I would, really tough I would, one. I would say, Beck, Guillermo del Toro did a nice job with Troll Hunters. If you if you like, you know, but it's but see, because my my reaction has been to retreat and to not and to only watch things where I will not become show emotional about. Oh, so you, that you way. need a little bit. That's fair. Where it's like I can't keep doing You're this not, to you, myself. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. You can't. You're not or very it. or very specifically giving myself room to ugly cry, which is why I've been watching Say I Do on Netflix, because oh, you need a Grey's Anatomy style ugly cry. Watch Say I Do. Oh, a lot. They, they come out of the gate. I cried very through the, whole, the whole episode that I watched. <laughs> really good. Yeah. So, but I, I, yeah, but I do, I do feel really, I think like I'm already feeling anxious about whether or not I should watch it on Netflix about the, going into, I think it's the first time I've gone into something with this feeling of being a fan and like watching something from the perspective of like a hardcore fan. I've never really had that before. Like I imagine the way it was for you watching the Star Wars movies of being like, this isn't, this isn't what they wanted it to be. This isn't the way the story is about to be. You know, like, <laughs> I already feel really amped up and I, I get now how in some ways, you know, you can't really satisfy the fans. So uh, Cora is now on Netflix. Everyone should should watch Avatar and then watch Cora because Cora is absolutely amazing too. Um, all right, Lil. Mm-hmm. Um, you know my, you know we're all far away from each other and we miss each other a lot. And so like my Rex RX for when I really miss you guys is to get together is to like watch something like <laughs> insanely nostalgic, like absurdly oh, nostalgic. That's so awesome. So I'm gonna do a little screen wait, share. Do, of something. Wait, just to show you how much I miss you. 
yesterday I was on the couch. We were watching um, uh, the last episode of Upload. That's a Rex for Beck, just in general. Ooh, yeah, Beck just started. started it. Oh, Beck yeah. thinks it's, it's, it's cute, but she hasn't gotten to that. It like gets in your heart, that show. It gets in your heart, and it's cute, and it's funny. Um, and it's like very Canadian, which makes me happy. Yeah. And, um, and we're watching that and I like stretch my feet out onto the couch. Somehow that pushes Jose to like move over or something, knock his tea over. Cause you know how in this house people like to drink tea in the evenings, like his, in the Pixar mug, which is a really big deal in this house, it goes flying and smashes against the wall. And he like, he's a very Zen ninja, but he gets like so upset that he's like, you just kicked me and I knocked it to you when he starts like raising his voice. And I just start like full on bawling. And he's like, why are you crying? And I, and like mom's sitting next to me and she starts tapping my shoulders. She's like, are you okay? But I just started crying. And I'm like, cause you're yelling at me and I'm pregnant and I miss my brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> Got up and went into it the must bathroom. Be- so annoying it's just like, for it's our like, spouses sometimes. It's, but it's like always right there. And like the, the, the hormones really brings it out. But it's just like right under the surface. You know what so, I mean? The, the so, missing. So here is a gem. I don't know how, this is, how nostalgic I could get. Like this is, I'm nostalgic all the time. Th- this is my Rexar X for like me oh, and God, us. Oh, God, no. There's no way. We're going to watch it. just oh, a I minute of this. Just watch a minute. This is a clip is from... Is Canadian? What is... No, no, no. Do people a... know about this? This is... So I, I looked up the year, 1979 this came out, which, by the way, I thought it came out in like the late 80s. They made the animated <laughs> fictionalized stories about oh, Puff God. the Magic Dragon. He was voiced by Burgess Meredith. And there was the first one, Puff the Magic Dragon, which had some sort of facocta story about Jackie Paper and Jackie Draper, whatever. But it was the second one, Puff the Magic the Dragon girl. in the Land of the Living Lies, oh, oh which God. which on our VHS this... as kids was just called Puff and Sandy. That's what yes. mom and dad called it, Puff and Sandy. Oh. Is this all based on the Peter, Paul, and Mary song? No, no. The, this Dragon? is this is expanding the universe. <laughs> but is that the but is the Peter, Paul, and Mary song the the, the original? Yeah, it was. Was that like the origin story of Puff the Magic Dragon? I'm or did pretty he, sure. Like, yeah, they, something else. No, they wrote the song, and then they. Is the some, song about drugs? I don't know. Someone licensed it about a very wise dragon who helps kids who have serious like anxiety issues, and so the we're going to drop into the story where. Sandy has been telling lies, uh, and it's to compensate for some emotional issues she's having at home, and Puff brings her to the land of the living lies, and this is their arrival in the land of the living lies that I just need a few seconds to watch with you guys and react. Absolutely. And the voice, and the dragon is voiced by by Burgess freaking Meredith. Burgess Meredith. Like, when, when, when it goes up on IMDb, you see this movie, and then Rocky. They go together because they both have Burgess. All right, so here we go. Puff and Sandy, here we go. Archibaldo. Can you hear? Is the land yeah. mm-hmm. of the living lies. The land of the living lies. Where lives do go when ye world fights them out. Sounds great. Where you don't have to tell the truth and the folks really appreciate a good lie. Look. I'm so creeped boy. out. Whoa, whoa. Oh, the seventies were just amazing to teach kids yes. lessons with cartoons. Oh, you're a dragon? Must be the boy who cried wolf. All the famous liars live here. I can't I and can't believe you watch this by yourself. Who's waiting to welcome us to I'm the land so, of the like, living lies. It is Baron creepy, right? You guys what? all feel Munchausen. That's insane. Munchausen. <laughs> this fellow liar. That's psychotic. That's who they have. Wonderful. That's a character? Sir. How dare like, you call it Munchausen? Wonderful. Like Munchausen by proxy? Like that? Yeah, the Munchausen syndrome. In this land, everyone lies. If you say it's wonderful, yeah. you must believe it's terrible. It is. It's a terrible place. It's awful. Yuck! Ah, I remember. Oh, that's it's, better. Oh my god. Enjoy your stay. I'm so creeped out right now. So before he poisons her. Yawn. 70s cartoons, right? Oh yeah, but I just what amazes me more than anything is like like I get so homesick for you guys and in general for like our childhood, but now it's even worse. I don't like I wouldn't be able to do it. It would make me too sad. And you shy it makes you won't feel like happy. 
Well, I mean, yeah. it helps makes me feel like just close to our like you know pop like I mean I pop just, it in. Also, just, I'm around my kids right now who are watching their versions of this, right? Like the Babysitters right. Club, Troll There's Hunters, no Avatar. version of Puff the Magic Dragon these days. <laughs> All right. No, but they watch. So they watch the Magic School Bus. They watch the Magic School Bus Rides again, the new version of it. They watch Avatar. One. They watch Troll Hunters over a babysitter's club just over and over and over again the same way we would pop you gotta show them the babysitter club movie oh they've already seen it they've already seen the the original movie yeah yeah Mm -hmm. Ah. i will say the movie the show though that is on right now is like a thousand times better than that i i would hope (laughs) so i I recommend that one so that's my what's your old what would be your old nostalgic pick like this that like you would that you would think about right now. I mean, this is a deep cut though. Like, this is a very I, I'd be deep happy cut. with like an episode of Full House. This is like <laughs> a serious deep cut. That unless you show, yeah, this is it, like I a BMX remember. Bandit situation. Ooh, BMX Bandit. That would probably be a great one. How come yeah. that hasn't Such been great... an app? That hasn't been on How Did This Get Made, has it? No. That's I because like you can believe how it was made. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It's, I feel like that should be. Also, it's Australian. Different rules. Oh, how Australia. come nobody talks about that movie more? I think I because know. the three people who saw it are on this. <laughs> this and the other guess. two are on If I town. ever meet Nicole Kidman. Kidman. Oh, it's yeah, 100%. If I meet Nicole Kidman, that is the... It's the only is, thing there is to say to her. I'm going to... That's it. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Well, what was it like playing Judy. Mom's FaceTiming me. I just wanted you to know that. You know that she mom, knows, when Lily called me to time. say, when Lily, when Lily yeah. called me to say, we were going to record now, mom's in the background going, just let you know I'm available too. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So for Lily, sure. who's coming with you to labor and delivery, mom or Jose? No, uh, um, um, uh, Jose, because nobody, like, there's not, you're not allowed to have extra people. But, you have to wear a mask. Yeah, have to wear a mask. It's like Can you do a shield surreal. instead of a mask? I don't think so. I don't think they want a shield. I think they want a real mask. I don't know, but presumably Isabel had to wear like, a mask, but there's no pictures of her wearing masks. She said that she, yeah, that she eventually had, like took it off and nobody said anything. She's yeah, like, who's going to mess with a pregnant lady? I, I don't think COVID's going to mess with a pregnant lady. COVID, <laughs> pregnant lady. Oh, <laughs> COVID really? walks by and it's like, not going to mess with but, this lady. Um, but mom was like, you know, we, we, we're, so it's been established like by all my doctors, by everybody that like, you're only allowed to have one person come. And, and Halsa was like, okay, so we were talking about, okay, so, you know, if I go into labor, this or that, or that or that. And Halsa was like, all right, but Fanny, like, you know, just make sure you know, like you'll still be able to like get in your car and come and we both are like but she can't come he's like are you sure i'm like do you need her more than i do <laughs> oh yeah i would say he one needs, thing i want to do is like a support person if you were taking odds right now i would just bet mom will end up in there that's I mean, just my she, that she's is... accepted that it's not happening but i think he needs a support person and no. for him that's mom <laughs> so um but yeah no i i I chose Jose, and because honestly, for my first, but you'll day, FaceTime really me. But you'll FaceTime me. No, Unless we're rec- you're I told asleep. Lily we're recording an app from from there. Because unlike right. you, unlike you, Becky, where you had to, you know, be on heavy sedation, Lily's going to be wide awake, but she can't record an episode. Wide awake. It's not like <laughs> I'm watching a Super Bowl. I'm wide awake, but busy. <laughs> no, we'll live stream. I've got Streamyard. We can even we can get live chat. Oh, and you can oh do like God. um like a ticker tape, you yeah, know, a little being ticker. like oh, yeah, five centimeters. Contraction, crack, contractions are three <laughs> minutes apart. Dilated six centimeters. If the contractions are three minutes apart and somebody is dilated six centimeters, they're not talking on a podcast. I promise you. As badass as Becky is, who potted minutes whatever, before whatever. We know you're gonna just have an epidural, so you can totally talk. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. All right. What's um, a Rex RX you have for someone who just got an epidural, but they need to distract themselves because it's taking a while? I think they usually take a nap, but um, I don't know. I well, like I watched. I watched. Clouded. What about I watched, talking? Uh, uh, Parks and Rec. I feel like Parks and Rec is always a great rec. Like that's a safe safe bet for anything for any kind of scenario any kind of situation um but 
was I having contractions? How was I able to watch Parks and Rec? Well, because you don't wear an epidural. You don't feel it. No, but I had the epidural really, really late at night right before I had the C-section. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I don't remember. The point is that if you have an epidural and for any reason you're hanging out and want to watch TV. um, Okay, let's let's do it this way. During one of the things that's going to help you dilate is getting that oxytocin pumping. So you need to like, True. so what's going to get that natural? Which one oxy is oxytocin? Oxytocin is the one that like when someone gives you a hug or when you see your kids, it's like the, it's like the happy. It's the, oh, happy, it's the one. happy one. Okay. Got it's, it. So yes. which is serotonin what? then? Serotonin has nothing to do with this. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Throwing out. <laughs> All right, so oxytocin. So yeah, what's going to give you some oxytocin to dilate you? I, I think like Can you imagine moments. that that putting that stamp across a TV show. <laughs> no, will dilate you cause going. dilation. Well, that's like there's some restaurants where they have they have like meals that are labeled. Serotonin the, like... regulates mood, shine, social behavior. Okay. No, but also appetite, digestion, sleep, memory, sexual desire, and function. But I think it's. It's like the link between depression and serotonin. It's like a mood thing. Glad nobody comes to us for medical advice. So yeah. So yeah. what would what would, so like for me, if I needed some oxytocin uh, to dilate parts of my body, I don't know. Galaxy mm. Quest would put me in a really good mood. Um, uh, I think it has to go beyond that. It has to be more touching. Like it has oh. to be like a, like a, like get to your heart. And maybe for the two of you, it would be Avatar, the way you talk about that show, my God. I feel but like that like, could work. Eventually, you will talk be, about it that way, too. Right. It has to be, like, something that reaches, like, breaks like that. I like, just can't oof, wow. wait for you to watch Avatar. And it will be an I told you show that will last a lifetime. Okay. Unless your heart is Take made it. of stone. So I guess we'll find out if you have. Look, if there's anybody of the three of us whose heart is made of stone, it's you. So if we can break through that barrier. I'm very um, sensitive. Um, if, I do cry if, a lot. If, if, if I was talking about ones that give me that, like, emotional high, that, like, everything is going to be okay kind of feeling. Hmm. Let's see here. What's a what's a, what's a good one that that really gives me that feeling that that again? I mean, we're talking about like in sort of the the toppy top, the, the sort of the, the tippiest toppiest of of feelings. Of friends happiness. will always make me happy to watch. Friends, like friends will. I feel like that'll comfort you. That. It won't right, make that's a you comfort. exactly. That okay, I'll like tell you what. A dural situation. The where you first need to be comforted. episode of Burning Love, I cackled. For so many minutes straight, it was really? like four oh, minutes a straight, rack. nonstop cackle. I feel like that would get you get like the happy that way. Chris Royce, like nonstop. Like it was. I Vlad at one point said, "What laugh is that?" He's like, "I don't know." Recognize <laughs> that laugh because I couldn't stop cackling. Shy, have you seen it yet? Uh, yeah, I started it. Okay, it's wait, I I've have another Rex okay. RX question. So, in his pregnancy, especially in these later dates, Lily's hands have become so swollen. She Look, cannot reliably yeah. type or use devices type. because of her sausage fingers. So, so what like show can she put on that can just autoplay where she doesn't have to worry about like skipping, clicking, clicking another button or anything because she's going to screw it up with her swollen wizard finger. So what wizard I would do is, is I would put si- I would put Seinfeld on shuffle. I love putting oh, Seinfeld. I just pick a season shuffle. of Seinfeld. Oh, that's wild. And, you can put stuff on a shuffle, shuffle mode. On, on, yeah, on Plex, you can put, uh, you can put shuffle mode. things on shuffle. So I'll when I don't know what – it's actually what the closest wild. thing I can get to my like – you know, where I don't know what to pick, but I don't want to – you know, but I want a certain amount of mystery. I'll just go to uh, – and you can create play- playlists. So I'll just go to a season of Seinfeld that we that I own. Um, uh, what a great and, wild card way of watching and, something, and and I just hit shuffle, boom, season five, boom, and I just like one or or I'll yeah, do the whole show shuffle. It, but the problem is when you do day. the whole show shuffle, what? No, go ahead. Sorry. When you, you do the whole like show shuffle, you app. end up with random. No, you just you also end up with random special features that pop up because <laughs> they're so like they're all in the show. But um, I love doing that because then it's like it's closer. What I, the next thing I'd like to do is an upgrade of shuffle is not just to be able to shuffle movies, but shuffle movies and then have it pick a random spot in the movie to start at. So no, it's like I'm on HBO. I love that. I can't tell you how much I don't 
often if it's a movie i've seen i don't really want to watch the first 20 minutes i just want to get to like yeah i feel like you yeah there should be definitely a shuffle through to the best parts of the movie um i will say that the other day we were i have to tell you this we were watching Obviously, uh, writing shy. Do you watch uh, writing in comedians, writing in cars, turning? Uh, occasionally, I, I'm not like it's, hardcore about it, but I like it. it. It's really, I think it's a great. I think that's a good rec. Um, and we were watching. They did like an uh, extended interview. Somebody interviewed um, Eddie Murphy and Seinfeld, the two of them, about their episode oh. and just kind of like getting a little bit deeper because they they came up together and they really grew up together in comedy. And I don't think a lot of people know that Um, they're literally at the exact same time and they've known each other for a hundred years and we're Hoss and I are watching it. And it's just so, it's so fascinating to hear these guys just talk at this point in their careers and how different they are and how much they respect each other. And he turns to me and he's like, so what was that show Seinfeld about? And I, (laughs) it's like the perfect, I turned to him and I just go, nothing. (laughs) <laughs> and he's like oh very, and i was like yeah it's a very like, special like, very special oh. moment so on, like, on, on, on that subject there are probably some really good episodes of always sunny which is sort of like seinfeld that, taken see, to an always, extreme. that, that always needs to be curated. to be curated there's like 400 yes. seasons you, that someone needs to, to go through and just do like a best of play, a best of playlist that cannot be on there's shelf. just too many and as long as that playlist includes human meat which is one of the funniest episodes ever. Wait, were they Hunt Man or Human Meat? That's a different... Human Meat where... Because where, um... there's one where they hunt cricket. No, no, no. Not the one where they hunt cricket. The one where Frank and Charlie, is that... Is that... That's yeah. his is Charlie Charlie Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, b- um, believe that they have been, that they're addicted to human meat and have been eating human oh, meat. Yeah. It's really just like <laughs> raccoon or something. <laughs> have you seen have you seen Blinded by the Light, Lil? Yeah. That's a okay. great movie. That's a good one that would I think would I mean that's not right. Well know. now now we're the, now we're the Back to the Future trilogy. Rec. The Back to the Future trilogy. That but that could give you that high, that Avatar high, you know. It's and that, that also fills my nostalgia gap. I feel the, like I, I loved watching that movie with you guys. It's the feeling of the story, I think, being complete and the ability to take a breath that I really enjoy with some of these older... Like, th- it's okay for things to end. Like, I don't need Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I'm just, like, happy they beat Voldemort. Like, right, what else or do Toy to Story do? 4. Like, it's enough. Like, it's, oh, it's okay. Oh, Toy Story 4. Yeah. Right. Aren't there like now Ooh. so many what, sequels coming out? I feel like this is just going to be that like I have four years of sequels. Look, there are some things that where the sequel is interesting. Like I'm, I'm interested to know what happened there, but there's some where I'm just like absolutely not. I'm trying to How see. How do you guys feel about Umbrella Academy? We've never really talked about it. I, I, I never season. watched what? it. I, I feel like I was a deadly I, class you know guy. And, okay, and I, I felt like they were you. similar things. That so I your... didn't... Here's my oh. Umbrella Academy. This is like classic Becky. I watch something. I watch it nearly, to, nearly, to, nearly till the end. I probably only had about two, you never finished yeah, it. <laughs> two episodes left in the season. And I literally just go, eh, I'm fine. I don't need to know what happens. <laughs> I just don't, I realize I okay, literally that I, don't care I enough to fin- I never finished the season because I, I probably, I swear I only had like two episodes left, I think, maybe three, maybe one. I just, just was like, I actually don't need to know. I'm fine. And I moved on and I just not, I didn't. What's weird, I think what's weirder is that I enjoyed very much the first season. I had a lot of fun watching it. We watched it as a family and then. I'm like, eh, about the second season. But if I like the first, then what's wrong? Why am I not? Has ever happened? Like, the love dies between the time the first and second season yeah, comes out? That you're totally like... happens. That totally happens. And then there's sometimes you come back and you get back to the show and you're like, oh, this was really good. But that's why we live in a world where I feel like people just have to create the content, commit to creating the thing, and and then create the next thing. Like, the British, to their credit, they make a series that's right. rather it's, short, but then it's right. over. Or they make a series and, right. that can go that's on forever. Point. You know, that's like Boyle's point. War. I mean, that, that the war could still be going on. I would say, Lily, if you took season three of News Radio, season three of News Radio or season two of News Radio are, are essentially like, no matter what episode you land on, 
in mm. any of those in either of those seasons, you will be plotting laughing. And but it isn't an emotional high. It's just a comic genius high. Like it's so quirky and strange, but so funny. And it, and it doesn't have a lot of the, you know, there isn't really a big romance plot that you have to worry about. There's just it just is. And Guys, mm-hmm. I'm having so much fun, but mom's texting pictures of food she's cooking, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> mom's mom what lily should you just get mom tell mom to come on the show for a bit i feel like she really wants to be on it just tell mom um, she's like sending pictures we should have mom she come on pass me one of those honey mustard chicken wings she just sent a picture oh, of wow. her yeah so lily hungry. just get mom it's so funny i did honey Serious mustard chicken last night for dinner are you having contractions a little bit yeah oh, i have goodness. two questions hold on before we um either hang up or introduce mom let's introduce mom um, and then we'll wrap up Okay, wait, but two questions. We are excited for the boys, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Super so, excited. Super, super excited. excited for the boys. Have we seen Hamilton yet? On no. The, but I saw it live. I don't, streaming. it's very you long. You saw it live? Yeah, it, it's, toured, it came to like DC. Cool like that. Oh. We I went with Brad and live. Sarah. It was awesome. Sarah helped us get tickets. I'm grateful for that. Uh, I really want to cool. see it, but I I'm don't not... know that I want to watch it well, on TV for three and a half hours. So here's what I hear. I have okay. been, I was, I was like medium on seeing the play, but mm. what I have heard is that it is great to watch on TV with the when subtitles you can go on. PP Be- whenever you want. And, and with the subtitles you know on, because saying. then you can hear, see the brilliance of all of the like rap and stuff like that. Like all of the, like you're, it moves you so can, quickly, right. so you can really absorb that. And that I take, you know, so at some point I think we're going to watch it with the kids, but I'm, I'm not like, I don't have the energy to commit to like a three hour musical right now that isn't Cats. <laughs> it isn't cats. That isn't it cats. all comes back. Uh, all I comes want back. every podcast that makes fun of cats. I want to put the challenge out there to have me on as a guest <laughs> to unironically defend that movie and the cats. Well, maybe it'll happen the day that they do. How did this get made? And they do cats. Is the butt thing coming. real? I don't know, but the person who made the like fake version of the butthole cut is hilarious. <laughs> But then I feel like they should just do butthole cuts of every single Andrew Lloyd Webber play. So, like, the butthole cut of Joseph. Like, we were listening to the Joseph soundtrack the other day, and I was just chuckling to myself, being like, if they make a movie of this, everyone will want to see the butthole cut. That would be a good movie. I mean, I don't think they should take any more risks, but I feel like I'd watch that That movie. one's very straightforward. That would be, like, an hour-long movie. That would be a short movie. Yeah, so should I was... see if mom's available? Yeah, see if mom's available. Okay. I think... Too busy think, eating oh, those. People always wings. want people always want mom. Oh, Lily, oh. Winona Earp. Winona Earp is a oh, really yeah. cool show. Is that rec- for Hosted too or just me? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, there's like demons and people die and get their heads blown off and stuff. Okay. You know, that's there's a part of that, that moment. Go get mom. I'm gonna talk about something that upload while you get mom. Shy, that moment in upload <laughs> I don't want to ruin it for anyone who's going to see it, but you know when he's being uploaded, yeah. that was amazing. Vlad and I both screamed. That was great. I, I think that show really does, like, really is special. Um, and I hope that it can keep it going for season two, right? Like, it suggests to me that there's a lot there. Lily, what's going on? Lily's like, Mom's laughing. answer. Sure, let me just finish my wing. <laughs> 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 She's hitting the chicken wings she sent pictures of. And I don't have any contractions, people. Woo. Woo. What there is a contraction go. for? Really, it's just podcast. time to get that baby that out. I feel like you should just... balls really tight. <laughs> no, it, it feels like there's a <laughs> tight... you know what that feels like? No, no, no. It feels like there's a tightening across your belly. It's like a really, really intense tightening across your stomach. Like oh, okay. the worst... Tightening is a very delicate, gentle way of explaining No, it. imagine like the worst diarrhea cramp you've ever had in your entire life, but it's like, but like tightening across your whole thousand? stomach. Yeah, and times like a thousand. The, shy, the most sweaty one where like you're so sweaty, like you got to take, you got to strip down. Like you have shivers. <laughs> So it shivers from it and it's right across your whole like, stomach. I know this will end. And it's it's, it's like the a, one that I you know, know that there's end. no position you can get into that will That'll help. Alleviate. You know what I mean? Like I, you think if I get naked and huddle up on the toilet with my knees up high, maybe it will help. No. Nothing <laughs> will help it. You know right. what you know which specific That's... diarrhea cramp I'm talking about when oh. I say that. Yeah, when you're like schwitzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um hold on, Is mom mommy, there? Just, yeah, I just gotta it's like a full uh, body pain. It like hurts in your neck almost. Mom brought wine. All bets are off. I can't talk for much longer. I'm so hungry. Okay. We're just going to say hi to mom. One. Mom, mom, I made mom. Can she hear me yet? 
Hold on. Mom, I made honey mustard chicken last night. Yeah. And oh, she saw my WhatsApp. Mom. You saw my WhatsApp. But mom's now acting like surprised. Oh, you saw my WhatsApp. I just sent it two seconds ago. No, mom, you're yelling into the microphone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry. You, 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 I will say it with a buttery voice. <laughs> exactly. It's going to last for exactly one line. And then we'll be back. Shouting. Mom, we are giving, we're giving all sorts of recommendations, Rex RX, to each other of shows to watch in cer certain scenarios. What do you recommend for a mother who is trapped in a house with her pregnant daughter? Like what? <laughs> during COVID. Well, um, talk, talk gently. Potentially Umbrella she Academy. Is, um, she loves that show. She's very close to um, me. And The Magicians. Is that the same as The Magicians? Is it the same oh, show? Oh, Mom watched totally The Magicians different. when she was with me. She watched the whole series while she was with me. It's excellent. Hey, there's a new watch? season. I saw the new season. You there's a new season. Be Becky did not it, watch right? it with me. She doesn't like watched, that kind of stuff. I watched stuff. a few episodes. I, it's like, like grown-up Harry Potter. What am I being labeled as here? I don't that I don't watch it. Is that no one could keep up with you. The pace at which you consumed that show was like... Not for the I respect that about mom, though. Mom, I'm I mean, when I dig into I a show, too, up. I, you know. I And by the way, I watched several episodes with you. It was good. It's very complicated. All right. So, mom, you've recommended The Magicians. And what was the other one? The Suits Academy? No. Umbrella. Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever want to, don't you want to mash up mom's shows and just yeah. have, like, The Suits, <laughs> Magicians. And CI Suits. And, and CI that, go, suits. that go to Umbrella Academy. In, since she's been here. I saw FBI Academy, whatever that was. What, what was it called? Quantico. Oh. It was okay. It wasn't great. great. alternative title. FBI so, Shai, I had, I had an experience <laughs> no, with wait, you. No, wait. The other show she's you would she's flip been out. here is Steel Mag no, Sweet Magnolia. Okay, oh, so okay. I'm you watching. that algorithm? I'm shy you must. So shy. Allie, Allie yeah. must have it. Hey, Allie so Sweet it. Magnolias is one of those shows, Shy, where you would flip out because you're watching it. It's very sweet and it's very nice. And people are like, it, it's one of these, like, it's good pablum when you're in a very high stress situation. Depends like, a, you know, not quite Heart of Dixie, but, you know, that kind of show. It was a little bit more, you know, soap opery than than Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie was a spoof, and the last episode was so harsh and shocking and such a cliffhanger. It didn't match the entire. Like season. it was more Steel Magnolias than Sweet Magnolias. No, it was not even Steel Magnolias. It was like mayhem and, and she's death. Like, she's like, and it's so like what? There's what? No other season. And then and you I'm don't like, know what's going to happen like, because clearly. One of the kids in the show potentially dies. Everybody's very sweet and nice the whole season. And all of a sudden, the kid almost dies, mm. and the show ends. It was bizarre. Ugh. False advertising. Mom was pissed. Yeah, I'm It was like, like how could show. you do that? And then, of course, we're in a pandemic. Nobody's filming, and there's no second season. It's like, okay, that's how it ends. Um, she was not happy. So I started watching the new season of Umbrella Academy, and Jose saw me watching, like, episode six, and he goes, what are you watching it without me? I didn't know he liked it. I've been avoiding it. I told you guys. I got No one can keep up with you, Mom. No, well, you I know didn't know Jose liked show, it. You know what's a show that gives pe makes people really, really happy, but you've got to, like, dig into it a little bit and just, but just keep Man watching it? Indian Matchmaker? No. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, that's true. <laughs> the middle. Yeah, you got to watch the oh, middle. the middle. That's a cute oh. I haven't seen the middle That's a ever. big time Lons and Ash but, wreck. But, but that's one that I also want to playlist. I don't want to watch all of them. No, I want, no, to, I want you, to watch your favorites. Yeah, it pays off when you watch the whole thing. I'll really? go back. I'll, I need to watch something I can watch on my own over time, like at night when I'm by myself. Mom, you'll like the middle a lot. It's a very sweet okay, show. Watch it. Never by herself. I'm always there. <laughs> I know. That's why <laughs> yeah, we're watching Mom, the Indian matchmaker. Mom does watching. the thing where she just puts her AirPods in and her iPad up and just blocks out the rest of yes, the house. For sure. Mom, and it's like, like unbelievable. Where you're like, Mom, she's, Mom. She's like, I can't. I'm just Mom, here. do you remember a movie from, so I, you know, I've been going out with, with all the streaming services. I go back and I've been digging into like older movies. And Ooh, I just started this traction? movie with, with John, Tra with John Travolta from 1981. Uh, Brian De Palma film called Blowout about this. Oh yeah, about, oh yeah. I, so don't ruin it. I just, but I just, I'm very intrigued. I'd never heard of this movie, and it's about. Really? I thought you would have heard of it. You were alive already when it was. Yeah, made. I was two. 
Oh, yeah, was, <laughs> okay. Was, I thought you were older. I know um, you guys showed me like Jaws three when I was five, but no. But in its time, it was pretty intense. Like oh, no, I don't know how intense it would be now. You show your kids some like questionably inappropriate things, shy. But let's remember, mom showed me Grease when I was like six. So. I, still I didn't. Remember. I will never Maybe forget. Grease is, it, Grease is a musical. It's not. There's nothing. <laughs> it's, it's a so musical. A bunch of like, no, it's not like Dirty things. Dancing. It's a musical. Are They're just singing dirty dirty dancing around the same time. I, think I oh, definitely Grease. saw Dirty Dancing. No, you saw Dirty, dirty Dancing as Mom, 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 like they were not allowed. Mom, stop yelling into the microphone. I don't know what to do. The mic is on my my ears. Why didn't she hold it in her other ear? Or not I'll swish it in, in her mouth. I'll be it's... in charge of the mic. And she can be away I from mean... it. Did you guys hear, though, that they're making... Um... Yes, yes, but Jennifer Grey is... Jennifer Grey. They're making a sequel? A or sequel. A... Is it Netflix? Dad, very Dad goes, well, that's a little bit difficult since there's no... Well, it'll be about her. <laughs> and there's no, no it'll be about Johnny's crazy. grandkids at this point. <laughs> yeah, because she's not like around a... anymore. He died young. Yeah, it's no, really no, it'll have to be like her kids want a dirty dance. Do you think that's what it's going to be? Maybe her no, kids twerking. are the dirty. Her kids are, her kids are twerking. Maybe her kids. Maybe are it's going to be called dancers. twerky dancing. Or maybe this it's a mistake, right? Love. It's not a good idea. This is not, not a good again. idea. And First of all, the Catskills aren't there anymore. As so what good? would be the replacement to the Catskills? No, I don't Let's think the imagine. Catskills is the important part. They've already made a Dirty Dancing movie that took place in Havana Patrick's, that Becky saw Patrick's, with her friend. Patrick Swayze mm-hmm. is the important is the important part that's missing. No, and, and so I said that already. And then... Um, and then they're doing the League of Their Own show. No, they're that's a good. Huge thing. League, League of happened. Their Own show is, is a great idea. Is it good? Is it good? No, he's not. Le- gonna be in it. League of Their Own show is a great idea because that movie itself, like, lends itself to it. There are seasons. There are different characters. There's a universe. Dirty Dancing, like, what? What it's are we doing in a I show? Had a beginning, a middle, and an end. They should leave it alone. Yeah, agreed. And and also, um, Havana Nights already really completed the circle, right, Beck? Right, Beck. Beck. Oh, God, please. That's well, terrible. Havana Nights is like um, is a <laughs> is like an adjacent Adoration. story. It's but not, isn't Patrick Swayze in it? He's in it very briefly as like, like a, a dan- as like a he has a cameo as like a dance instructor, but he's not. It's it's he's not, not Johnny con- Castle. It, it's not connected to the to the original story, other than in name. Oh. And there was a lot of salsa. Right. Yeah. And Seal Award. Oh, I'm so hungry. Stop talking about food. <laughs> <laughs> on, on that note. On that note, Lily, on that note, Lily, where can people follow you? Chichi K. Gomez on Twitter and, and Letterboxd. And yeah. Mom, where can people follow you? In Tenerife at Inner Wonder. <laughs> On Twitter, right? You're on Twitter. I, I am. I don't usually use Twitter. I'm more on Instagram. But, but your Instagram is private, so nobody wants to follow yeah, so you. so that's fine. Um, you, can, you can try to find me on Twitter. I might be there. I'm not quite sure. I don't know. There's so many notifications on your phone, you're not going to notice if someone tweets at you anyway. <laughs> you get every you notification. Do, I have one of teach her how to turn her notifications off. Do you have any on. idea what it's I like? Do list, look at my notifications. Do you have any idea, idea what it's like to look at her phone. iPad? Boom, it's boom, in boom, like boom, 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 boom. Every single app you have is sending you notifications. You don't yep. need all these. Are you kidding? I have one of mom's old computers in the house, <laughs> and it gets <laughs> notifications <laughs> for birthdays of people I've never heard of. <laughs> I talked to mom the other day. I said, Who's this person? It's their birthday today. It's true. <laughs> Make sure to call them. Why don't you clean it out? Why He's the queen. Mom's, mom's the queen right. of notifications. It's no, somehow, um, it no, still it's saved your notifications. So I can say happy mom. birthday. And follow shy, me follow at you? no me <laughs> at paper bk princess on twitter and in honor of seinfeld when this episode is over i'm gonna go have a big salad marble, uh, a, a, just gonna have a cup of coffee i'm just looking for a rye. big salad i'm gonna go have one of and you can follow me at Pancake Ford Table on Twitter and Instagram. You can follow all of the Friday Night Movie shenanigans at Friday Night Movie on Twitter and Instagram or Friday Night Movie Pod. Uh, that's the website. Please join our family in supporting the 
NAACP Legal Defense Fund and the Equal Justice Initiative as part of our solidarity with Black Lives Matter. They do incredibly important work. And uh, with that, the theme music of our podcast will kick in by What Does It Eat? Check out the new record that's on Spotify and iTunes. This is so much fun to do. A little extra time with Lily before, well, I think she might be in labor. But anyways, we love you. Bye. That or I got to poop.